For shaitan, mankind is a spectrum of potential targets. Some are easy prey, effortlessly swayed by feeble whispers, whilst others strike fear and dread in shaitan's heart. Umar worked tirelessly to be from the latter category until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted it to him. As is well known, shaitan would flee from Umar. Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas, he said once Umar asked permission to enter upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, while several Qurashi women were sat with the Prophet. They were talking to him and requesting extra financial support with their voices raised. The moment, however, they heard the voice of Umar seeking permission to enter, the women hurriedly got up to veil themselves. This, of course, was before the hijab was made compulsory. The Prophet ﷺ gave permission to Umar, and the moment he entered, he saw the Messenger ﷺ smiling. Umar politely said, May Allah Almighty always keep you happy, O Messenger of Allah, as if to ask what makes you smile. The Prophet ﷺ said, I am astonished at these women who were with me. As soon as they heard your voice, they rushed to cover themselves. Umar said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, you have more right to be feared by them than me. Then Umar turned to the women and he said, O oh, enemies of your own souls, do you fear me and not the Prophet of Allah? They replied, Yes, because you are harsher and fiercer than the Prophet of Allah.